I fight? Because I know there's something better. Nicole was only 16 years old when her dad passed away. He had a heart attack in the bathroom. She was the only one in the family that knew CPR. She had to give her dad CPR at age 16 and watch him pass away in front of her own eyes at age 16. She blamed herself and of course who wouldn't? You thought you had the control. Later on the paramedics told her that hey, it wouldn't have made a difference, it was just a matter of time, do not blame yourself suffered for depression for a long time. She fought, was courageous and brave through high school, through college, and she got married. And three weeks before she was due with her son, her mom passed away from cancer. She fought through postpartum depression. She had to still go to work. Her work didn't value mental health leave. They didn't understand what the hell that meant. She fought every day. She wanted her mom to see her newborn son. She wanted to share these moments with her mom and dad, and she couldn't. She's developed strategies and perspectives and has the attitude like no one I've ever met before. What a positive attitude she has. I wish every parent raised their sons or daughters like the way Nicole raises her son. They talk about their feelings. They go for bike rides along the beach. They go for walks. They journal together. They meditate together. What an incredible relationship. And I asked Nicole, well, would you take back anything that happened in your suffering? And she said, no. The dots connected. Somehow these things happen for a reason. And she loves her son very much. Why am I telling you this? Because suffering that we all experience on all kinds of different levels and the stories that you tell me inspire me and I cannot believe some of the shit that you have all fought through. I cannot believe what you've been through. And here you are standing, once again, ready to fight for more. Someone asked me, why haven't I killed myself? Mental illness or not, why does anyone ever live on? Once we experience some form of suffering, why not end it right there? Is it just because we fear death that much that we choose life? I think it's more than that. I want to tell you why I moved on. Why I lived on. Why I took one more step. Why I took one more chance. Because I know in the future I'm going to suffer. I'm going to experience so much more pain in my future. There is so much more to come. I'm going to be beat down and I'm going to have to get back up again. I'm going to fall my face flat on the floor. I'm going to have to pick myself up again. For what? For what? I'm living just to suffer. Life itself is a tragedy. My life ends in death. Everyone I love will die. Life is suffering and tragedy. What's in between that suffering and tragedy is really what matters. I fight? because I know there's something better. I fight for a better thought to come. I fight to witness myself grow stronger. I fight so that one day, and I've seen it before and I'll see it again. One day, after all the suffering is done and I'm on my journey to heal, I can look at past Scott and say, look where I was and look at where the fuck I am now. And it feels incredible. I want to see myself grow. I want to see new things. I want to travel to new places. I want to smell something new. I want to touch something new. I want to meet new people. I want to see my mom and dad grow old. I want to become closer to my family. I want to grow deeper relationships. That's why I live on. I want to experience more. I want to see Scott grow. I want to use my suffering to continue to empower other people and you can too. Suffering just doesn't have to grow yourself. You can lift others up at the same time while you're healing. You're bound to get hurt again. You're bound to be depressed again. People I love will die. I will suffer so much more in this lifetime. Why do I fight? Because I choose to. I choose to take that one more step. I choose to fight and take one more breath for hope that I will be happy again. And I always am.
It's not just a possibility, it's a probability that you will be happy again. And thank God you're still here. And thank God you're still fighting. I want to let you all know that I'm inspired by how much you fought to be here right now in this very moment. I want to let you know that it's going to get easier and then it's going to get hard again. And it's going to get easier and then it's going to get worse. Better, worse, better, worse. We're alive. Then we're dead. I fight to witness the change. I want to see the world change. I want to see myself change. I want to learn new things about myself. I want to read. I want to write. I want to see the sun set and the sun rise one more time. I fight because I choose to fight. So do you.